Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing and let's get into the video. In this video, I want to show you how to add on-page anchor links with Elementor, DV, Gutenberg or basically any page builder without installing a plugin. There are a lot of ways to do that and I'll show you three in this video. What are anchor links? Well, as you can see, there's an article on kinsta.com's website and when I click on this link, I'll be taken to that particular section. Well, this helps the user to navigate to the part of the website or article that he wants. And it's also helpful in improving the user experience. Plus, Google shows these in Google search results. So there are a lot of benefits to anchor links and we'll see how to add anchor links using Elementor, DV Builder, Gutenberg and a lot more. So in order to add an anchor link, you need two things. One is the link itself and the second one is an anchor. Basically, so when you click on a link, it will be scrolled to that particular anchor, right? Similar to how you would pull a boat to the shore. So I'll just select this one. So I just want when a user clicks on this for instance, maybe design conference, I want him to be scrolled to that tickets area. So what I'll do is that I'll drag a menu anchor widget. Just above where I want and just give it an ID. So let's call it tickets anchor. Don't worry, it won't affect the design of your site. It will be totally invisible. It will just as an anchor. It won't change your design. So once you're done here, copy the name. So let's actually link this to that anchor. So I'll just click on this under link. I'll add a hash and then paste the name. So just like that, we've created an anchor link. So when I click on this, you can see the cursor turned into a hand. When I click on it, I'm actually scrolled to this particular section because that's where I placed my anchor link. So it's simple. Drag anchor link wherever you want to be scrolled and just give that anchor link a name and then go and add the link to anything with a link field. So it can even be a button. So for instance, so we have a button here. We'll change the link to an anchor link. So when I click on bypass, it will be scrolled to that particular section. So I'll be scrolled to this. So whatever has a link, just type hash and add the name of the link or the anchor that you've added in the anchor links widget. There's other way to do it. You don't even need to add an anchor links widget. So within Elementor itself, there's other way to do it. And this actually applies to any page builder, not just Elementor. So I'll delete this anchor link. Instead, I'll just click on this tickets area and under advanced, I have something called CSS ID. Well, if there's no CSS ID, you can give it any CSS ID. I'll just call it tickets section. So just give it a CSS ID if there's not anything else already present. So I'll just call it tickets section and just go to the button and paste the anchor link. So it's the same as dragging an anchor link. So when I click on bypass, I'll be scrolled to this area. So under advanced, just add CSS ID and under link field, add a hash and then copy the same name. Basically, that's how you create anchor links in Elementor. So you can basically link any particular widget to any other anchor without even actually using the anchor link widget. If you want to use anchor links widget, it's all up to you. Well, the same method applies to DB Builder as well. So let's say I want to be scrolled to this area. So I'll just click on the right choice. I'll just click on settings and advanced. I'll just give it an ID. So let's go with the same name. I'll say choice section. You can give it any name you want. Let's give it a name. Let's save it. So it's choice section. Now anything with the link field. So I'll just click on this and anything with a link field can be linked to this. So just add a hash to it and just copy the name. 
uh, since it's choice section just copy and paste the same name and click done so I'll actually open the page that I have added anchor link with a DV builder and then we just added anchor link to this no more button so when I click on no more it will be taken to this area well you can see that the scroll is not smooth we can correct this we can actually correct it for every page builder and every theme all you need to do is to paste a snippet of code in customizer area of your theme so from your wordpress dashboard click on appearance and customize and it opens up the customizer interface scroll to the css area or additional css area of your theme scroll to the end and just paste the snippet of code so it's html within parenthesis you have this property called scroll behavior so that will actually correct that sudden jump property so once we've added this i'll actually click on publish i'll refresh this page to see if the code is working or not so the page is refreshed now let's click on the no more button again and just like that you can see now the scroll is corrected because of the code that we just added and if you change theme don't forget to add this to every theme that you want so it's html scroll behavior smooth just like that it corrects the behavior for most themes and also most page builders now there's also a way to do or to add anchor links in gutenberg we'll see that now so i just opened the page that i've edited or composed with gutenberg click on any heading block or any heading or text based block under advanced just give it a name so i'll call it first anchor and under link field of any block or anything that has a link field just simply paste your url just like that so hash and the anchor name and when you click on this you will be taken to that heading you can also add it to text so you can link your text just like that and just click on this and when you click on this link it will be scrolled to this heading that's how you add anchor links in gutenberg and that's how you basically add anchor links and improve navigation for your users if you really have long form of articles this is really helpful i'll talk to you in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace